A very warm welcome to the channel. Today is December the 17th and thank you for all the comments I've been getting. Now I know I haven't been doing a, ooh, the Christmas Advent. I've just been really busy and possibly you can see that a little bit later on. I've been redecorating the studio and I will possibly show that a little bit later on so it's just more spacious and more effective. And this lovely screen behind me should be sharper with a better quality because hopefully I've improved the green screen. The title of this show, well, is a bit of a wow. And I spent a couple of weeks having a look into this. The publishing date of this article doesn't make sense to me. I haven't put it in, but they said December the 25th, 2021. Don't get that bit, but I am going to do some reading right now. Oh my God, reading. And you can have a listen. I will put the whole article at the end of the video so you can read it yourself with more of the detail. And hopefully if I remember a link to where I got it from, but that's possibly very highly unlikely because I can't remember even if I'm speaking to you. So what is this title all about? Well, the title is this. Exposure of the residents around the Three Gorges Reservoir, China to coronium, lead and arsenic, and their health risk via food consumption. The reservoir construction and operation have been reportedly to potentially cause adverse effects on the local ecological environment. The Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric construction globally, is located on the mainstream of the Yangtze River. Management of the Three Gorges Dam for navigation, flood control and power generation has resulted in the alteration on the hydro, hydrological characteristics, the ecosystem structure and function and so on. Further influence of distribution activity and transformation of contaminations. The daily intake of metal, DIM, was determined by the concentration of a metal and the amount of the corresponding food consumption to evaluate the CRPB as AS exposures from diets. DIM was calculated as the following formula. The sample collections were conducted between July and September 2016 in central countries or counties, sorry, of the Three Gorges area. Local residents around were recruited to participate in this survey voluntarily, including 160 males and 48 females. A face-to-face -face questionnaire survey contained the basic information of individuals, including ages, smoking habits, alcohol drinking habits and occupations. In addition, investigation to the primary food cons consumed by the volunteers, such as the types, amount of food consumption, all volunteers' information was confidential and they were all consented to participate in this study. It is widely reported that the heavy metals readily available along with aquatic food chain, which leads to the higher levels in predator, thus potential posing threats in human health. As a result in this study to investigate impact of fish consumption of the heavy metal accumulation in human hair, the participants were divided into four groups depending on the amount of fish consumption per week, respectively to all the volunteers. Although significant difficulties differences were not found among different fish consumption groups. The coloration analysts showed the results of pH in the hair was potentially positively related to the amount of fish consumed. And here we can see a lovely diagram which explains a lot more. Well, you'll be glad to know that's the reading over with. Now, why did this all happen? Why is there heavy metals in this fish? Well, 
where to start basically. It was built, it raised the water level, you have landslides, you have all this um, earth, soil, mud, trash going into the three gorges that was never there before. I could imagine, yeah, that most people do eat fish there because it's a ready source of food. And if you fish, obviously it's free of charge. It's not the richest area in the world for people to eat, so to speak, or to have a high salary. Therefore, fish is a great option. Oh, why do I always itch when I do this? And because of the water levels and because of maybe the high metal content in the soil around, gives us the fish tea problem. And this is why there's a high level of health risk for this very large area of China. And a lot of research needs to be done into that. Do let me know in the comment form below what you think of this. Okay, let's have a look at the levels. Haven't done this for a while. Catan is at 171.59. That hasn't moved. And the Free Gorges Dam Reservoir has gone down to 171.14 with a outflow of 6830. And the weather is not very exciting at all. In fact, the Vensky weather app decided to freeze. And you can see that it is sort of moving. Well, the time is moving, but the map is not. But you can say it's relatively dry. I could guess that the temperature is about maybe 8, 9 or 10 degrees centigrade. Now, a little bit later on today, there's some article that I have made already and it will be published in the next kind of like 12 hours for you. And it's related to the New York Times in the United States of America exposing the Western communists, as I like to call them. These are the people that I have talked about quite often in China, from Canada or the UK or South Africa, whatever, who always do the CCP narrative and always say everything is perfect, fine, dandy, China is the best place in the world, and America, Australia and Canada, the UK, and especially Lithuania now, is the worst place in the world and uh, how to find out about it oh, i'm going to do the advertising the like scribe and notifications hit all on it then you can see i think i'm going to do it round about eight o'clock my time on saturday saturday morning so that's possibly going to be like nine o'clock new york time 9 p.m new york time on the 17th i hope that's not too confusing I'm just haven't made up the video. I haven't completed it yet, but it's mostly done. That really is about it for me for today. Don't forget the mug if you do want to buy it. Um, my mug is slowly getting to me here in Cambodia. The last time the mug had left Chicago Ahara Airport on the way to its next destination, which is possibly Los Angeles, then Hong Kong, or Singapore, then to here, and then to be driven up. So maybe before, if I'm lucky, the new year, and for sure in 2022, I am tracking it as I go. Many thanks to Donald, who is doing all the business side of these cups, etc. It's very exciting to track, and hopefully it should arrive, let's say, within the next two weeks. That would be absolutely epic. Thank you. Bye-bye. God bless. Be well. I'm out of here. Take care. Cheer we go. Okay, so here's just a really quick tour of the studio. Now I sort of moved some furniture around and there is sort of like the editing desk. Here is where I can put all the stands etc for the cameras that don't work like GoPro. I have more light in here and there window. I put this, the shelf is from downstairs, but now I just put it upstairs. Just move this around here. Nothing really new actually, to be honest, but we also flattened the green screen, which makes it look 
a lot better. And this is the chair that I would sit on. Yes, really comfortable for the green screen. And there. So a few more things to add, but it's getting there. And I think there's enough light, but I wouldn't mind a couple of umbrella lights, you know, the ones that they have, maybe just to put it in the corner there. What do you think? So there we go. This is the New Look Studio. Getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. And we are getting there.